Dr. Sharanya Mohan. Uh, I did my undergraduate in uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Medical College, Bangalore. And I finished my final year in the year 2019 and my uh, internship in the year 2021. Firstly, the, with regards to the infrastructure of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Medical College, we have a single college building, an OPD building, and um, an IPD building, and a new super specialty block as of last year. Uh, so the college building is, uh, I think, about 20-ish years old. Um, it is being renovated, and they have improved um, the um, classrooms and the bathrooms and the parking area. And I've seen a lot of improvement in the college in the last uh, few years that I was there. So the uh, old IP building is quite old, but the new IP building, which includes a super, super specialty block, um, the patient, I don't know the exact bed number, but the um, quality of the infrastructure is very good from what I have seen. So coming to the college transportation facilities, there are two college buses which uh, ply uh, two routes as of now. Um, it's very convenient, they come on time every day and uh, yeah it's comfortable and I think there are a limited number of um, places as of now so it will be according to first come first serve basis so but it's a very good option that's available for transport if it applies on the route that is suited to you. Okay, coming to the lab facilities in Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Medical College, uh, the labs are uh, well equipped for uh, whatever is required during the first two years of study. Uh, they're maintained well. They have enough specimens in uh, the anatomy pathology labs. Um, there's a new skills lab that's come up for the new uh, curriculum, which is very good. They're, they're very well equipped and the, uh, the professor who is currently um, in charge is extremely helpful. So yeah, I would say the lab facilities are uh, quite good in, in this college. So the first two years of study were quite um, one of my best two years actually in this college because um, especially in the first year the because you're entering from your uh, post uh, from your PUC into your uh, your professional course so the teachers are very understanding they're very helpful they um, they realize the uh, how much there is to study so they they keep keep track of completing the portions uh, and they conduct um, internal exams at regular intervals so that you are kept up to date with your syllabus and that it doesn't become too much in the end and yeah they, they set papers that um, will really help you uh, be ready to face the final exams and uh, second year it again second year is also um, pretty good because the teachers are they are on top of their on top of the syllabus constantly uh, they try to finish portions, they, uh, they guide you uh, as to how to face the exam. Again, they set regular um, tests for us to be up to date. So yeah, both first and second year were, they were really good for me in this regard. Third and fourth year, again, um, so now you'll be, you'll be facing your, your clinics as well as your um, theory. So the amount of time that the professors, it, it, it differs with various subjects but some of the subjects the teachers are able to give less time uh, to the theory classes but it compensates if you are able to use your um, clinic clinical classes well and correlate with your theory classes so teachers are always going to give you time somewhere it may come down in the theory classes but uh, it's not it's not going to you're not going to be spoon fed as much as you are in when uh, when you compare it to the first two years uh, internship, I did my internship during COVID time, so it's not a very good, uh, like I'm not the best person to ask about this, but in spite of doing it in COVID in subjects like um, surgery and OBG and uh, general medicine, we did get a lot of exposure. During non-COVID times, it is going to be much better because I've seen it pre-COVID. The wards are almost always full, especially in medicine, surgery and OBG. Uh, pediatrics. Uh, the caseload is seasonal, so in sometimes there will be a lot of cases, sometimes the caseload is not that high. Um, subjects like ENT and Ophthal do get a good uh, number of patients. Uh, or orthopedics again is a very good department in terms of caseload. So uh, almost all the um, 
all the departments do get a do get a decent caseload where you get a good enough exposure to uh, patients. We have, um, we have a, a inter college fest called Synapse, and we have intra college uh, sports fests, and uh, we have other small intra college events that happen now and then. Everything has to be organized by the students themselves. So the third year students uh, are usually the ones who conduct all these programs. Um, the kind of support we got from the college management during my time there and when we were organizing our um, extracurricular activities was very good. Um, you For the fest, most of it is self. You have The students have to fund it themselves and you have to take um, help from sponsors. A part of it will be funded by the um, college itself. We have, at the end of your course, you will have a graduation ceremony, which again is mostly funded by the students themselves and partly by the college. And almost everything is usually handled entirely by the student body. We, and we have some very supportive uh, staff members and we have a cultural secretary and a sports secretary who are always um, willing to help the students out with whatever we ask. Uh, I think, I mean, of course, you know that there are better colleges that everybody tries for, especially government colleges and other private colleges with better caseloads. But uh, I would say that I've had a very good experience here. Ultimately, it, it comes down to you and what, uh, how you make use of the facilities available here. But I think it's if you do get it, if you do get into Ambedkar, it's a good place to go to. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to Medical Mentor.